Hey yo pretty people, welcome back to ZloXP on full stack. My name is ZloXP, I'm on a full stack and today I can do this. BAM! You know what that means. That means we have Optify. Optify is in alpha right now. So it also means that we have some flashing entities that aren't exactly there. And uh, speaking of entities that aren't exactly there, I don't know what's up with this guy. I have no freaking idea what what's up with this guy. I like I this is basically a zombie and he's sitting in a boat. But I've tried I've tried unloading this chunk, I've tried logging out, logging in, I did everything. And he's still there. So from now on, since he's holding an item, I decided screw it. Let's have him. Let's give him a name. Let's let's see. Okay, so guys, if you have a great name for a zombie head that sticks out of the ground and occasionally looks at me, come on, look at me occasionally, yeah, like that, then please do leave a comment, I would greatly appreciate it. But that's not the only entity we're, we'll be talking about today. Today we'll actually have to talk about a ton of entities, in particular about the new amazing zombie villagers. Zombie villagers. I absolutely love their new textures. They look absolutely amazing. And I already gathered a quite a quite a collection. I have each and every type of zombie villager here, except for one. Except for I I, I I'm glad you guys agree with me. Uh, except for one for the leather walker worker. And now that I think about it, you know what? Screw him. L let's not get him. Let's let's forget about leather workers. I never liked them anyway. Now that I gathered them, I figured I don't really need the separate uh, zombie grinder anymore. So what I decided to do, I decided to just take the tube that leads into this grinder and redirect it on top of my head inside of the skeleton grinder. Like, just drop all the zombies right inside of the spawner. That's gonna be hilarious. But that's gonna work, and that's what I really like about this thing. And now he's vomiting experience. Amazing. Alright guys, so this area has been cleared out. It has been cleared out. I have moved my nano farm to this place. So yeah, my one my one issue with it right now, with it with placement right now, is that it will still trigger the uh, the zombie farm, the zombie spawner, and I don't yet have a switch off button for both spawners. And to be frank. I don't really want to have any switch off buttons for the spawners. I think that's kinda useless feature. So yeah, I don't think that I want to really move this place, this thing again. And I kinda enjoy how it's right there. Once you like enter this area, you have a storage area here and you have a nano farm here. That's quite convenient if you ask me. Now we need to figure out something to do with those guys. That's definitely a thing that I want to do, but before that I want to kind of work on the infrastructure of this place once again. Because I, once I moved the nano farm, I got some free space here, which means that I can probably place an enchantment setup right here. So I was just running around hunting cows, and let me just note, full stack is not Hermitcraft, and we don't have, un well, like unlike Hermitcraft, we do not have an increased amount of spawners. So this right here is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> Music disc, saddle, rotten flesh. Okay, rotten flesh and iron horse armor. Alright guys, check this out. I gotta admit it, this isn't the prettiest room I ever done. 
but it doesn't have to be the prettiest room that I ever done. Like really, this is just a s enchanting setup right next to my little spawner setup. So yeah, I still enjoy how the zombie head, well, the zombie head and shoulders. That's a shampoo brand, isn't it? Yeah, zombie head and shoulders are just poking out of the poking out of the floor. Like yep, yeah, what's up? And I really do enjoy that I have this particular villager out here. And there is an actual practical reason for him to be here. The, the reason is that I'm a doofus and you guys know it. And I keep forgetting to get some lapis lazuli whenever I come to, come to enchant. Which means that if I ever forget lapis lazuli, I can just poke the villager, sell him some rotten flesh, buy some lapis lazuli from him on the spot, and successfully go and chant some stuff. So, after some interior work, we have this. Ooh. Ah. Awesome, right? I mean, look at them. Look at all the villagers. They have such awesome skins. I actually wanted uh, at first to, ga to give them like uh, profession items, like uh, an anvil for a blacksmith, a uh, dot block with some grass on it for the who, who, who are you? for the farmer. But then I realized that those items would probably cover the f uh, parts of their skins. So I decided, screw it. I'm not giving it. Uh, I'm not giving it uh, to them. Uh, yeah, except that this guy already has some uh, armor covering parts of his skin, but that's not too much of a problem. Not as much as with this guy. This guy is a problem in, in itself. First of all, he stole one of my best swords. Right now, one punch from this guy. Le let me demonstrate it. Dude, punch me. Ow, my face. See? Half my freaking health is gone from one punch from a freaking zombie and second of all not only did he steal my sword but uh, further away he used that sword to kill me and stole my armor and now you cannot exactly see his skin so I am not the one who likes to kill zombie villagers especially after uh, trapping them successfully but we'll have to get uh, somehow get rid of this guy Although I really think that for his uh, bravery and cleverness, he kind of deserves a reward. So maybe instead of just killing him, we'll actually dedicate an entire separate room for him, like make him our weapons guy or something like that. Okay, dude. Sorry, this guy won. Yeah, he trans he transformed first. Yep. All but you can have a participation prize if you want. Well guys, with the zombies in place, you're in place, and the room pretty much tidied it out, I am ready to proudly announce the proud name of this place. You ready guys? Ready? I decided to name this giant room with the spawners, with my workshop, with all the villagers and zombie villagers. I decided to name it the coffin and I know it it's it sounds silly okay I do realize it but it it sounds both silly and fitting because that's kind of what I am that's that's what I am I am a zombie and zombies they are basically corpses so a coffin is something that would probably fit me <laughs> for the lack of a better better term it's just occurred to me that instead of a quote unquote a coffin I should really just name my place uh, the grave because that sounds way cooler let's have a poll on that okay uh, so now that uh, we're pretty much done with doing stuff for today's episode simply because I'm running out of recording time guys sorry real life gets in the way let me just quickly talk about some stuff that I'm planning that I, and, I, and that I need to figure out here first of all uh, this system here with press of a button and push of a lever is ca getting kind of annoying already. So I think I need to figure out uh, some kind of 
some kind of uh, uh, flip flop for the to hook up to the piston. But that's uh, that's a job for another day. Second of all, uh, this place is terrible in one way. In the way you enter it, and that's a big one, guys. Because we are currently on the on level five, and I live inside of a giant mountain, which means that digging out an entrance to this long hallway, to this long ladder, is is gonna be a lot of work, and I am not quite ready to do all of it just yet. Of course, right now I already have pretty much perfect pick pickaxe for me. I bought a mending book from Nick Nasty. So right now I have efficiency 5 silk touch mending pickaxe which I decided to call infinite touch because it's pretty much an infinite pickaxe. But even that will not be enough to dig out a giant like, to dig out giant hallways leading up to the surface. And uh, I really want this to have some giant hallways not only do I want it to look like a giant hallway, like a, a, a giant labyrinth? But I also have a distinct plan for the place. Instead of placing my entrance, my official entrance to my uh, inner base, to the coffin, up there, I decided to place it down there. So the whole city, the whole city that I'm building here, will be placed on those uh, support beams, right? But under the support beams, there's gonna be a giant swamp filled with graves. And if you're like me, you will think that that's, that is a pretty badass idea. Not only, not only will I fill the swamp with like graves and uh, they're illuminated so zombies will roam around every night, but also I really want to build a, another crypt. I know, I already built a crypt in the first season, but I will build a crypt right here. And this crypt, the way I see it, should be an entrance, an official entrance to my base, to my coffin. But when you enter, you actually get inside of a labyrinth with zombies, with skeletons, with maybe sp maybe even spawners, because I found some other spawners except for the two I'm using down there. So. Before actually getting to my coffin, you need to get through this giant labyrinth of passages and of all the cool stuff. Um, except I don't need, except I will not need to go through that labyrinth every time, because for myself, I will actually make a secret tunnel that leads straight to the place. And I will not uncover, I will not tell anybody how to access that tunnel un until one person will pass the labyrinth on camera so that's the that's the plan but to realize it plan to to make it work to build all of this i need a i need better equipment particularly i need a beacon and i think that i have something that will help me get that beacon so buckle down next couple of episodes is gonna be absolutely insane at least that's how i think for now, thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Zloy XP, this has been Full Stack. Please do leave a like on this episode if you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. But thank you everybody so much for watching. To be continued.